Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Ozcast. Hey, it's your boy Tom from BTC, Brian Ferguson. Center. Oh, the best around. Battles for me and my team. My best mate, my best mate, Tom. You ready, mate? Now it's time for BGM. And the place to be. Uh huh. It's about hey, time mate. for us to. Yeah. Mummy, do you mind if I watch this porn? Would you like to view it first before I view it? It's a real dirty shit. Thanks to Connellina at the Brighton Trophy Centre. Welcome back. Best teammates, we have a huge episode coming huge, up today. Huge, 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 huge. Andy Martin, how are you going? Huge. That's great, Matty Burgess, how are you? Yeah, huge, thanks. And Rosie Panetta. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey quickly. Yes. You need to do a button up on your shirt. Oh yeah, <laughs> put it away, yes. guys. <laughs> no, but I just was waiting for the pot. Now I've got something to I start. Mean, a- people show a whole lot more than that in the streets. But anyway. Okay. Well, what streets are they? Because we are going there after this. Um, Now, a quick rundown of what's going to be happening um, on the pod today. Uh, I will be raising very shortly uh, something and also a story. It's a double barrel for me today, how I've potentially been cancelled twice. We are going to get to that a little bit later on. And, like, this is serious stuff. Maddie's going to give us an update on what's going on with his house. Rosie's been uh, accused of sexual harassment. And Andy Martin very soon talking gangs. It's really important that when I bring out this little gift for you all, we don't talk about what the brand is, okay? Let's just be really specific here. Is there a present coming? So this is water I'm going to get you to try. Just the reason why I've got this here is because it's the gassiest water (laughs) I've ever had. I want everybody to have a sip of this water and I guarantee you, you will burp. Is it called Jared Walsh? Well, it's you're it, the gassiest water it, I know. It, it's close. Oh, we've also got a quiz today as well. So, guys, wow. have this. It's all for you. This is, I promise you, this is sparkling mineral water. Is, so this, a, um, oh, is this another Jared Walsh endorsement? No, nah, this is really, really good, though. So, try this. We're not going brand names, but if you like, have a, a solid yeah, drink, yeah. and I guarantee you, your burps Ooh. will be unreal, all right? Come pH level is 7.8. <laughs> I just saw extreme, right? pH level. Is that a thing? Yeah. It's full on. It's, um,. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, hey, that's a bit spicy in the old stomach, isn't it? For the bubbles on your lips. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm all right for now. That's uh, good, Matt. Right. How's your lips hey, going, Matty? We, um, I don't know if that says something about my uh, lips. Yeah. Before we before we push on to all the important stuff, can we just please acknowledge? And I know this is quite visual for a you know. We did. Medium. We acknowledge. Put yeah. your button up. No. Oh. <laughs> How much Andy Martin's hair looks like Macaulay Culkin's right now. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> wait, are you talking pre ice? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, okay. like, like baby. Pre Michael Jackson or after? <laughs> oh. Home alone ish. Oh, okay, back Home then. Alone okay. Is good. You back can't down. defame people when they're dead. We've learned that. But he's not dead. If Michael take, Jackson is. Oh, okay. If you're going to take anything home from that podcast today, that is will be he though? Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. So uh, it is great to be back here. Uh, thank you, everybody, for showing love. Uh, Con and Lena loved the birthday song. They requested Yay. like a snippet of it. We sent it out. So uh, we appreciate it. We are back here. Let's quickly talk about the thing that everybody's talking about around Australia at the moment. That is the premiere of the new Top Gun movie because apparently it's released officially in cinemas next week. A lot of people go into the, the premieres of it. <laughs> There it is. Um, so, have you guys seen the first Top Gun? Oh, yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah. Danger Zone. I probably need to watch it again. To okay. Honest, so, Andy, you don't have that it. song? Uh, no, that's so. Highway <laughs> 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 to the Danger Zone. Exactly. Rosie, have you seen it? Oh, it's been a while. I couldn't quote you. A lot of people would be offended uh, hearing us say that because I'm in the same boat as you guys. Like, I'm, I'm not like uh, yeah, I mean, connected to it. Well, the, the only time I think about Iceman is like back in the nightclub days, not. Not, well, not the, Top the, Gun, you know what I'm the thing about Iceman, apparently, wasn't that Wolfman? That's a great reference. No, but rest in peace. Oh, he's oh, no man. longer with us. Vale. Yeah, you know when, <laughs> when you said <laughs> the roots. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Matty. Oh. You're on. Uh, uh, what? Hey, <laughs> yeah, you're live. Oh. <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> <laughs> Old foot mouth Rosie banana <laughs> over there. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Sorry, Matty. You're on. <laughs> hey, I need to compose myself. He's a bitch. <laughs> yeah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. I'm trying to burp sorry. just to yeah, the I, yeah. I just don't get the Iceman reference. Uh, um, Iceman was Val Kilmer's nickname in the movie. People- just people taking drugs. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Val, Val Kilmer apparently is like being so, treated for throat cancer. So really? he cut, he's lost his voice. So he's in the movie, but um, just like just no his lines. face and stuff. No lines. Wow. So um, pe- oh, there it is. There it is. Um, I feel better now. People are saying, <laughs> oh, I'm back. <laughs> is that a Commonwealth Bank ad? Um, he, <laughs> I don't know, med- Mercantile Mutual? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> people are saying that this is uh, just as good, if not better, than the original. So I thought it'd be great to quickly throw around the table. We put it on social media as well. Well, I was going to say, when you sent through the, the little you know, running sheet of what we were going to go through, yeah. and I saw that on there, I for some reason I thought it was the uh, Leslie Nielsen... T- Naked oh, Naked Gun, they're yeah. good, I was man. Like, is there another one coming out? They are There's really not. good. So sequels being better than the original, it, it's been spoken about before, but I thought we could quickly throw it around. I, I watched the new Jackass movie yesterday, and I know it's not an official <laughs> – no, oh, there it is uh, – an official wow. sequel, but that's it's unreal. Yeah. I reckon the, the new Jackass the movie is better the than movies. the first one. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's better yeah. than the first one. You know another one? I've heard that. There's another one. Yeah, oh, 4.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. So, uh, Rosie, a sequel that you think is either the best sequel uh. – <laughs> <laughs> Can someone please remove the canned water from Andy <laughs> and Matthew? Um, the best sequel ever or a sequel that's better than the original? Uh, most sequels are shit. I'll just put it out there. Uh, but oh. the one that I thought Keep rates right. and keeps rating and rating was Harry Potter, Prisoner of uh, Azkaban. Can I, can I make a case? Oh, yeah. Taliban? No, all, <laughs> like, the, all the Harry Potter films got better and better and better. And okay. better. Okay, okay, I need okay. to make a confession. Mm. Oh, okay, here we go. I've never seen Harry Potter. Jesus. Really good. None of them. Yeah, really I, I think that's a really good confession because I think a lot of there's a lot of movie, holy Hogsworth. <laughs> Hogsworth. Yeah, What's a Hogsworth? Yeah, yeah. It's a it? Harry Potter reference. Yes, no, but got I, think, it. I think it's Hogwarts, not Hogwarts. Yeah, <laughs> you guys can go drink your water, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, yours is gin. Sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah, that explains everything. Yeah. Guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think a lot of people would be offended hearing that. It's the same yeah. as you say. Oh, I've never seen Star Wars and stuff. I never mm. got into Star Wars, but you get the real like the people who are yeah, connected to the it. Diehards. Yeah, yeah, mine's very obvious. Mine's Back to the Future too. I, 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 I that. That's say, why I didn't do it. Always say it all the time. I think that's better, and I also think Grease Two is better than Grease One. That is so ridiculous. I got, I, I got, <laughs> I got one for you. Yeah, Mighty Ducks. That's a great one. The man. second yeah, one where they yeah. go to the Junior Goodwill Games. Yeah, yeah. So much better than the first one. Yeah, but the first one's crucial because it obviously sets up the. Yeah, story. it's a really good point. I agree with you though. The Home Alone. I didn't say you Home didn't Alone. Say that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about your hairstyle. That's what we know. <laughs> so you said it was gin, right? It was gin you put in here. Yeah. Um, no, no. <laughs> what did you say? I said back to the future. Yeah, I wasn't listening. It doesn't even sound like Home Alone. Yeah, I was looking at TikTok. Um, <laughs> I was like, Jared's talking. He'll be your all. Just check it out. Uh, That's very good. <laughs> So, um, yeah, the Home Alone's are pretty sweet because I was in it. So there you go. No, nah, Home Alone 2. Uh, yeah, Home Alone 3 was shit, wasn't yeah. it? That's Sometimes yeah. they just push it too far. Yeah. The third yeah. one is always... It's like, just stop. The writers get co- too confident <laughs> about their, their talents and they... That was Rosie. Over th- that yeah. was yeah. not me. Is that front or back? Come on, Rosie. <laughs> no. No. Some... No. Some, <laughs> God, some, you brought the horse in. In some franchises... <laughs> In some franchises, the third one doesn't even make it to the cinema. I'm just talking. That's you true. Now. No, that's true. <laughs> yeah, just goes straight to uh, Netflix. Yeah, or yeah. Uh, we, we did yeah, actually VHS. have one on, uh, on Twitter. So I threw it out to Twitter, and we had um, we had millions of people get back to us. Are they um, embracing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. Um, <laughs> uh, Cam Hawkins. Uh, now this was a really good one from Cam Hawkins, and I totally agree. Uh, Terminator Two Judgment Day. Is a great. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You seen that, Rosie? No, I don't think so. You saw the adult one, Sperminator. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I also don't think so. Okay, <laughs> that sounds horrendous. Why does it sound horrendous? Look, does um uh because uh, Andy, next? talk about gangs. What's happening? You said today you're talking about gangs. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking so at us like right? uh, Do you remember me talking about last week about the the issue with the young teens? Yeah, and yeah, yeah we're all here. Yeah. Your parents' house? Yes. Uh, well, Saturday night. Good reset. Ten of them rolled up. Oh. So they all listened to the podcast. <laughs> uh, they weren't very happy. Um, and they did the old knockaroony. And uh, we were ready. And I <laughs> we were what? ready. Uh, with my body. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, guys. Well, I got the old dirty sleeping bag out, didn't I? No. Uh, <laughs> no. What do you think um, of this? No, uh, we're sitting. Uh, oh, you like this? 
I was sitting and watching the footy with the girls. Oh, no, yeah. you weren't, mate. No, I wasn't. sports uh, guy. Yeah, I was watching a sport on uh, the what, TV. Okay, let, now let's break this down. What game were you Footy watching? ball. Who was playing? <laughs> it was football. Who was playing? Some dudes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're sitting there watching the footy. You were probably on it. Um, <laughs> as I looked at you and Rosie. Um, and uh, uh, mum's like headed off to the facilities. And um, I'm what? The, to- the toilet. Okay. <laughs> the facilities. Uh, I didn't want to bring it down. I say she took a dump. Um, oh, oh, <laughs> next time I go to someone's house, I'm going to say, do you mind if I no, use your facilities? Yeah, I don't, no, that's no, what I always say. No, that's the wrong word. The hey, uh, do, you, do you have some amenities? facilities? Is it amenities? amenities? No, well, it's a bit of a facility for me. Why? Because uh, it's large. A, a facility is like what, the, what they used to be called in GoldenEye on Nintendo 64. Yeah, and I'll give that you level. one GoldenEye as well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they used to call me at school. Oh, here comes old golden eye, mate. Um, because of the one eye is gold. No, oh, no, I did. Right. Yeah, 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 thank you for looking at me while explaining. Come on, Rosie. Also, later on, I was known as Goldfinger Martin, and I'll go into that later. <laughs> Rosie, you're very low energy today. Yeah, you've had a sleep. Is, is, like. You've had a sleep. <laughs> Come on, mate. <laughs> Am I supposed to like <laughs> I'm like, looking at all these references? Like, what do you want from me? Uh, I was just giving like, something was, like some <laughs> contribution. Like, add to the gold finger chat. No, don't Just, say that. That's inappropriate. Yeah, come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite thing about Rosie right now is the way she's sitting. Her feet aren't touching the ground. <laughs> they swing, the seats like, are very swing. high here. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Well, they're kind of normal. Yeah, they're, actually, they're actually quite low. Um, <laughs> so anyway, at home, mum's in the toilet. Yeah, mum's oh, taking yeah, so the She's dump. in the yeah. facilities. Mum's headed off to the facilities. So I'm sitting there with the two girls, and we're watching the footy ball. That's a very loud swallow, and, by um, the way. Th- <laughs> that's good. And then uh, literally all I hear is this. Oh. Oh. An earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on, on, on the front window. And I was like, mm. what the fuck? And I was like, it's them. And I've literally uh, popped the girls on the ground. And then uh, they're like, what are you doing, Daddy? And I was like, going to go sort some shit out. You said and that then, to them? No, I didn't. Um, I reckon you did because <laughs> yeah, I've heard the way you yeah. speak to them. <laughs> <laughs> um, and literally, uh, I have uh, run out the front door and taken off after them. And um, luckily, one of the neighbours was out the front and he's like, who the hell were they? <laughs> there was 10 of them Far and they're out. running that way and I've bolted after them. This is happening in Brighton? Yeah, yeah. Happens everywhere. What part mate? of Brighton are you in? What age uh, are we talking here? Brighton, Huntfield Heights. Yeah. Who, do they think, <laughs> who do they think lives at your place? Uh, obviously, it, old what? mate Goldfinger Martin. Okay. Yeah. I've heard about you. Uh, yeah, they really have. Okay. They take care of business. Um, no, so I've bolted and then realised halfway through that I was just wearing socks. <laughs> um, and, and that's it. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank Three good- socks I had on. Thank goodness they're the only socks you worry about <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two socks and a dirty sleeping bag, and I was just running down the road. Uh, yeah. yeah, so I'm bolting down the road, and because it's so dark in the, in the street, um, I can only see shadows, so I've just literally bolted towards the shadows um, and found where they live. So, oh. uh, yeah, they live All in- ten of them. Uh, well, they were obviously having some sort of function okay. in the facilities. The um, function. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a real obsession with the facilities. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's what I call it. Well, I'm I'm trying to be polite to people. So when is I'm that at the house? Is that what they call like you know parties now? You come to my function. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You want to come to that's my unreal. So what's your next step? Um, I stood out there for a bit, and uh, I said I'm coming back for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, in what's voice? So you yelled that. No, I didn't yell it too hard. I was give like, us give an example. So we've just run out of the facilities and we're running away from the function. How did you say go? Back to our function. Yeah. I'm coming back for you guys. Oh, that's stern. That. That's yeah. Yeah. Stern. yeah. No, because, like well, I mean, you know. Did you project your voice? Yeah, I did. Well, I, full, full radio. I did like Batman. I'm coming back for you guys. Is how I did it. Wow. Oh, that's intimidating. Wow. Yeah, it really really was. Yeah. And they were like, wow, there's that guy that does a voiceover for movies. Yeah. yeah. They're like, hey, did you, you used to work at G Film House? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. actually, I did, guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we, we guys there? I used to do the intros to the movies there. It's great. Until it shut down because of COVID. Anyway, another gig there shut down. Um, no, so I've, I've then walked back and uh, uh, back to the house, and one of them lost a shoe. So it was a Cinderella moment. There's a shoe sitting in the middle of the road, so we've grabbed the shoe oh. and called the police, and they didn't really want to do anything about it. And you uh, called the police have... saying you have found a shoe. <laughs> Fucking got a shoe, guys. Uh, no, Dad did because um, uh, I didn't. Sure, to... the police <laughs> are really worried about that. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, because there's just so much stuff that's happened. That they need to log whatever uh, has happened. So, um, yeah, but yeah, someone's telling that kid that lost his shoe. Yeah, was well, it a good shoe? Uh, yeah, it was. Um, uh, what's that brand that tennis players wear? Feela. Nah, keep going. No, it's got, nah, it's got an alligator. Lacoste. Oh, Lacoste. Yeah, yeah, Lacoque. Yep. Wait a sec. 
tennis players, <laughs> I don't think wear no. Lacoste. I don't care, but it looked like a tennis shoe. Okay. Um, but it's, a street tennis shoe, that's what it looked like. Right. Like some gangster sort of shoe. Is that what the cop said to you? How much did the shoe Lacoste? <laughs> <laughs> Quick. Really good. Yeah. yeah. I really deserve good. more, I reckon, yeah, than go. that. Um, you guys are all fucked. So what's the plan from here? <laughs> Um, What's the end game? Monitor the situation. Have Fine. you got actually a video camera at you? Go to Bunnings and buy a hundred dollar security no, no, no. camera. We've we've got an order for expensive stuff coming yeah. through. You can still use the Bunnings one until you get the expensive stuff. No, nah, mate, we're going full blue. Yeah. Really? Yeah, boy. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, I like these updates. It's um. Yeah, we're taking care of business. What's happening with your voice now? <laughs> Ten four. Hey, what's going on with your voice now? Uh, it's just sexy. <laughs> 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 Gosh. Well, we are going to get to sexual harassment very soon with Rosie. Uh, Maddie, you've brought an update with your housing situation to us. You did send us some messages um, through, yeah. oh, bless you, um, throughout the week. Well, what's your housing update? Well, we've got frames. Yeah. Yes. What does that mean? mean I don't know. Okay. Nah, so, yeah, we had a slab for a good five months and then West End. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Uh, they decided to deliver the frames and the windows and they stayed on the slab laying down, not um, erect. Uh, for uh, a and good, what about uh, the frames? I love months. how you looked at Rosie in the eyes when <laughs> yeah. you said that. You <laughs> really did. did I? I was trying to look at Jared. Yeah. No, um, no, it has no impact on me anymore. But anyway, anyway, so yeah, we finally got frames, and that's it at the moment. So <laughs> yeah. did you have a slab party? No, we didn't. You didn't have a function. No, we didn't have a function. Didn't no have facilities. Because no, there was no facilities. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So you've got a slab down, which means the concrete is down. The concrete's down. The frames are now up. Yeah. It looks like a house. It looks well. Yeah, we were able to walk through it and then sort of see what it looks like. Oh, now, cool. What it's going to look like? What so. does it look like? A house. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you imagine like, oh, the uh, furniture's going to go here, the yeah, TV here. Because you can actually see, start to see some structure in the facility. Yeah. Have you got yeah. a man cave in this one? I've got a home theatre. Yep. Okay. So I'm claiming that. Right. As my my room. And what's uh, what's going on uh, with your miso? Are you okay, Rosie? About the cough. I was trying to do it oh, subtly. Why okay. did you draw attention to Is that it? euphemism? Oh, sorry. When you just dive off microphone, it's quite obvious. Yeah. Um, what's uh, going on with the up the duffness? No, nothing yet. We're just playing the waiting game. And Where is she up to now? 37th week. Ooh, oh, baby. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's all getting a bit exciting. We finally bought everything we need to buy. and t- I've got some stuff all those if you want to buy it. Yeah, power tools. Yeah, you want one shoe? You got one shoe? shoe? Yeah, cost shoes. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's cool. Yeah, nah, so every, yeah, everything's going well. We're just we're just waiting for it now. So. What sort of things have you been doing in the lead up? Like um, uh, before our our eldest daughter was born, my missus was driving me places. Like she's like, you need to go out with the boys. I'll drive you because who knows when this is going to happen again? As like a designated drive. You done anything like that? No, not really. Because okay. I, I don't. I'm not massive. On drinking and stuff anymore. So, um, <laughs> what happened? Sorry, yeah, what sorry happened? to disappoint you. You okay? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it because you're now yeah. the coach. Yeah, now, I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah, responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. He's turned so, up in his colours today. I have. Yeah, really yeah got have. training tonight. No, What's going on with the Beavers? You guys winning? Yeah, we're six and zero, top of the ladder. Really? Ooh. Yeah, wow. haven't lost. I like this, this is unreal I compared like- to this time last year with the um, what were you the Selic speech seahorses or whatever you were coaching. <laughs> I can't even remember. Yeah, I know that was the um, the the Yankalilla Yorkshire puddings. Yeah, um, that's the one. Yeah, so oh, it's good and it's good vibes at the great Broadies. Vibes, great vibes at the Broadies. Yeah, no, nah, the boys are loving it, so it's good fun. I, I wanted to talk to you as well. Did you see that thing that came out about bald men? I saw that thing that came out before. That's why I said to Rosie, "Do a button up." Uh, oh yeah, I did see that thing about. Oh, you've Rosie's brought this today. Sorry. I brought okay. This it's a good, no, it's a good little yeah. segue. Um, let's throw it over to uh, Rosie Pancetta. Oh, hello. It's because it was sexual harassment. So, I, um, so I've taken up a new role in the uh, any office, my, my husband's office. What's any? Any is his company. Oh, I've been there. Any, any. Yeah, me too. Any solutions. And um, so I've taken on the role. I got to name my own role. That's so unreal. I'm people, culture, and Double communications cut. manager. Nice. So it's my job to invigorate the culture of the workplace. That's so I was good. doing some like, you know, fun Googling of, you know, workplace stuff. And I come across this story because mm. it's about uh, workplace sexual harassment. So question to the bold blokes in the room. Yes. If someone makes what do comments you mean? about I can, I can your boldness, <laughs> yeah. do you find that, well, one, offensive? Did. Don't anymore. Did. When it went, when I uh, was um, uh, struggling to come to terms with the reality of this is what's happening, mm-hmm. yeah, I didn't like it at all and I was really self-conscious about it, but that, that time is long gone. And I that's one of life's mm-hmm. big... Oh, bless you. Um, one of life's <laughs> biggest regrets. I wish I came to terms with it earlier because of the amount of uh, stress it gives. Same with you, Matty-O. 
Yeah, it probably depends who's delivering well, the harassment to me. Well, would you and in what it, sort of manner? Yeah, well, would you call it? Would you call it sexual harassment? I wouldn't call it sexual. Harassment. Uh, it depends in what context. Are because, they like, oh, I'm not going to kiss you because you're bald? I'm like, well, that's a sexual. That's yeah. hara- that's. That, I think that if you're confusing sexual harassment shallow. with harassment that doesn't lead to. Sex, I know, but they didn't say I'm not going to kiss you because you're married, which is a bit weird. They're like, I'm just not going to kiss but, you because well, you're bald. My, my, my other head's bald, and I get a lot of sexual harassment as well. So <laughs> I appreciate. Somehow that. I knew that was always going to yeah. come out of your mouth. No, well, no, man, ask me, guys. A man in the UK. Has uh, has won the right to he's like suing his former company for sexual harassment <laughs> yeah. because people talked about his boldness. Yes. Right. Now he got fired, and he's come back later and gone. Um, people. Got, so here's what here's what happened. Wait, did he get fired for being? No. Bold? He, well, that's not what happened. He got fired, and then he came out and said, "Well, I'm going to sue my old company." <coughs> oh, so a bit of sour grapes there. So yeah. his name's Tony Finn, and Finney. Oh, yeah. Finney. And the ruling's been made by a panel of the men, dolphin, which is hey? confusing. And they compared it to a former um, case where a chick sued her company for saying hire big tits. That, that's, that's sexual that's harassment. Sexual yeah, harassment. Yeah, absolutely is, yeah. But they've compared th- th- this guy. Okay, this is what he got called, and this is why he's suing his company. Ooh. The panel's ruling came in the case of Tony Finn, who was called a bold C word that start that rhymes with runt. Whoa! So Jeez. someone called him a bold C bomb. Yep. yep. Yeah. And he's gone. And sued them for sexual harassment about the boldness. Wouldn't you be more concerned about the word is that because C-bomb the, the that second, rhymes with run? Is that, is that because the second word... Oh, is the second word has, has, has impact. Sexual, yeah. I, I feel, being completely honest, when I first saw that article, I thought it was taking the piss. So that probably indicates where my head's at reading it, so to speak. Like, it's... No, I don't think it's sexual harassment. It's not, is that there's definitely harassment article? there. No, it's not fake. It, it, it got published in multiple sources. What's uh, like barbecue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's an island. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you went to chimichiri.com, yeah. 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 <laughs> went to Sosters, got some air. I, I, I got something. To, so I put up something on the Instagram asking for people to send in hard hitting questions or topics for us to talk about. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, and yeah, good, and, good, and good. one of the ones we got in, which is kind of relevant, is uh, full shave down under or partial? Uh, like asking all of us if we are. That is the hard all right, let's go around. stuff. Yeah. Let's go around. Yeah. Rosie? Well, I'm not asking. <laughs> I want to know who asked it. Yeah. Uh, who asked it? Uh, Con. Yep. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's your boy. Yeah. yeah. I go through phases Fine. where I'll just shave everything, like legs included. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I, I also shave my legs. Okay. Yep. Yep. In summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel comfortable asking you, like, <laughs> what, you. what Andy asked you, because I obviously know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Jared! <laughs> legs! Oh, legs! Jeez. Jeez, you're a pig. Which ones? <laughs> Which legs? <laughs> Just going to sip some more water. You boys continue. Uh, can we thank our sponsor, please? We, we can uh, thank them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. Winners, champions, legends. South Australia is full of them, and their cabinets are full of trophies from Brighton Trophy Centre. For 23 years, their family-run business has celebrated victories with a wide range of engraved trophies, cups, plaques, glasses or mugs, honour boards, chopping boards, you name it. Whether in the office or in the field, they'll commemorate any achievement on any budget. Sporting clubs receive free engraving and logos on trophies too. Google Brighton Trophy Centre or visit them in store. Welcome back to Best Teammates. Um, So it's important that we say that you can follow us on the socials. We are all over social media and we're going to be doing more stuff on social media. Over uh, the next coming days and weeks and months and years, we'll find out what episode this is at some stage. It's over 100. Fine. Uh, We have our quiz coming up very soon, but it's important. I address two things that have happened um, over the past seven days, guys. Um, Sounds serious. Yeah, you know what? When you, you hinted at this earlier, mm. and I actually got concerned by the way the, the tone you had was yeah. it sounded really serious and sad. Okay, so there's two things. I'm going to go to the light one first, and then we'll go to the one where I was really concerned 24 hours ago. First of all, um, so one of the things which I really um, am hard on myself about is the fact that I don't remember names. I just Same horrible, days. right? Really horrible. I thought you were good at it. A- as did I. But I have a couple of um, things that help me understand how to remember names when I'm in a professional working environment. So, first of all, um, there's a whoop, whoop. there's a, a, a couple of things. Um, I'll always associate a word that starts with the same letter of that person's first name. That's right, because I said 
A and Andy. Yes, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And uh, so there's uh, <laughs> obviously um, Morbid Maddie and Raunchy Rosie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so okay. Morbid. Yeah, well, they're just, it's just particular you names. You are wearing black right now. True. Yeah. So then I can just... Or, or Weed Matt. Weed Matt. Yeah. So I can associate oh, yeah. these names. The second thing to do, <laughs> if you are in a professional environment and you're seeing, you know, contractors that, that work freelance, you might see around the place, they wear accreditation. So when I'm speaking to you, I might look down really quickly and have a look at the name on your accreditation and then go, great, I know who I'm speaking to. So it, <laughs> it works kind of like that. If I have someone else that I'm with, so say I don't know Rosie's name, I'll say to Andy, um, can you just introduce yourself to Rosie so I can hear That's that? a good one. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one, right? Yeah. I've never been tested or challenged on the fact that I am poor with names until Sunday at the soccer. So Adelaide United were playing against Central Coast in a final. Um, there, were, there were a lot of big dogs there in regards to the whole A-Leagues were there because it was finals. It was being broadcast on um, on Paramount and Channel 10. Um, and we had a big camera crew. So we had three camera operators. They normally would probably have one. And um, I recognised this guy's face and he was a camera operator, and this led to a really uncomfortable moment that I've never experienced before. So I'm standing there after I've done a welcome onto the big screen. I've done some fan interviews and stuff, and then we have about a five-minute break. So this guy comes up to me, and he's like, mate, great to see you again. We've worked together before. You remember me, don't you? (laughs) See, that line there from him, that's what... Cause the awkwardness. Yeah, you know what? That's yeah. abuse. Yeah. <laughs> that is bullshit. You can't do that to someone. Yeah. Well, there's He's not more. a nice person. There's more. I followed up with... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah. And your brain is going at milli miles an hour trying to figure You're shit out. You're allowed to say no. Well, he wasn't wearing accreditation, but this is the moment where it went pear-shaped. So let's reenact this. I will be the camera operator, Matt... I'm Lyndon. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm Jared. so you are Jared. Okay, yeah. so um, I just want you to give me some feedback and say, "Great job." Yeah, good job today, mate. Thank well you done. so much. Yeah. It's great to be working with you again. You remember me, don't you? Yeah, yeah, of course, mate. Yeah. And then he said, "What's my name?" Oh whoa! my god! Whoa! Whoa! Why whoa! Would he, whoa! Why would he abusive. Do that? I know. He should be taken off the field. It you know, was you know, full on. You know what you should have said? Yeah. I'm not your fucking mother. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, but I am. Was having a laugh? Was having a laugh? So how do you respond to that? So I panicked. So John, yeah. you go, John. That's a good gag to play on someone. So this was my response. So again, we'll do the role play. Okay. Yep. okay yep. So right. I'm back. I'm back being me You're now. You. Yep. Okay. Who are you? Yep. yep. Um, cameraman. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> so hey, great job. That activation was awesome. Shot beautifully. Well done, mate. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I love working with you. We've done it before. Did you remember my name? No, you say this you remember. Oh, you, you remember guys, me? Don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, guys, can you get your lines right? Oh, What's geez. my name? I don't know. Did you say that? That's what I said. That's what you said. (laughs) (laughs) You you can remember Then I started laughing. His name's Nick. I'll never forget it. Nick. Yeah, Yeah, Nick off. (laughs) (laughs) That was full on. So that that was led to the most uncomfortable thing. You know what you should have done? Every time you walk past him for the rest of the game, he's got that Ja Rule song up. He goes, what's my motherfucking name? (laughs) Well, this led to the most nervous I have ever been when it comes to being cancelled. And this happened yesterday. So let me use an example. Matt, I want you to... <laughs> we are banning waters. Who brought this? <laughs> Matt, I want you yep. to tell the story yep. of Tom Morris uh, and how he was cancelled over the, after round one of the footy season. Just to give a brief, syn- a brief synopsis uh, to Andy and uh, Rosie, who may not know what Okay, happened. so Tom Morris is a, one of the, well, was one of the main AFL reporters. Um, okay, okay. I don't know if he worked for the AFL direct or if he was... He worked for Fox Footy. Yeah. He was a Fox Footy um, reporter. Anyway, he got caught saying some lewd things about a fellow uh, oh, that fox. Guy. Yeah, um, yeah, in a group chat, someone leaked it, and he was completely cancelled. A female, a female reporter. Yeah, reporter. yeah, so he was gone from that moment. Yeah. So basically, it shows that anything that is said in a private message could be put out publicly. Yeah, yeah. right. And that's where the, the whole cancer, cancer. Oh my god, can- cancel culture. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot going on with what you just said, <laughs> yeah. but uh, exactly. So sometimes, uh, and obviously with my voice breaking, um, uh, yeah, the Adelaide United fans um, uh, know you se- well. Uh, yes, so they send me requests at times, whether I could give a birthday shout out to them. I always do oh, this no. stuff, right? Like it's absolutely fine. So I say, hey mate, we're having a, um, for example, the Broadview Beavers are doing, yep. it. and in my kind of style, yep. I do no research, and I'll just. 
dribble shit. I'm like, yeah, well done, Matty. The Broad You Beavers at Div 12 Footy Club. Well, I can't wait. John O, kick a bag of goals, all that stuff, right? You nailed it. So that's yeah. kind that of what good. I do. <laughs> you do do research. Yeah, Thank John O's so good. <laughs> and I need you to turn we your phones over. Turn your phones over and not look at them because I'm about to send you an image that I need you to look at the same time when I give you the all clear. <laughs> okay. So something happened yesterday where I was sent a message by, um, I'm not going to say his first and surname, let's just say L. We're going to call him L, okay? The letter L. So the request was, I'm just wondering if you could please introduce me like you do the soccer players. Um, My birthday is coming up. It's going to be great for the party. So I thought this is going to be great. However, this is via Instagram. I thought I would be quite humorous and write something back that I would never, ever write back to anybody. And so it was clean then. and, (laughs) and, (laughs) And screenshot it before they saw it. And then unsend it because with Instagram, <laughs> you can unsend messages yeah. before the people see it. I didn't know that. Yeah. Just to give you an idea of what I said, <laughs> I'm about to send you the screenshot. <laughs> and when I say, look at your phones, I will tell you. Okay. And I need to hear your reactions. This is, okay, Ooh. that shows that someone has got a message. Have a look at what I sent to L. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Holy moly. I've heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've used that now, a few times too. Now it gets better. <laughs> it does, can we say what it involves? It does uh, involve the C bomb. Yeah, the it involves the C bomb. And an amount of money. However, <laughs> however, however, as I was screenshotting it, underneath it. that, <laughs> the word came up yes. scene. <laughs> Followed by a response oh, that said, no. oh. I'm really sorry. Oh, my oh. golly. Oh, my <laughs> Oh, no. So then a further inspection, I've had a look. This kid's about 10 years oh, of age. Oh, my no. God. And I've then sent him about 15 different versions of what he asked for. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> just to double check, that disappeared on your end as well, right? He's like, yeah, no worries, mate. I'm just looking forward to the soccer tomorrow night. I feel <laughs> oh horrible because oh all I wanted to do was screenshot that response to show someone to get laughs, but he's sore. I guess it's that oh, whole thing gosh. that any, anyone under our age are that quick yeah. to see stuff. It means he was yeah, that, that the chat open, obviously, when yeah. I wrote back. So I feel horrible because, and I'm glad that that- no, He didn't even ha-ha. He took it all to the heart. And heart. that's fine, but that doesn't exist anymore. But if, like, he could have just sent that around, and I feel Horrible, but that's full on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Imagine that got out. Have you, have you, you seen? Would be either promoted in commercial radio, <laughs> yeah, right. or you'd be cancelled. I'd be on a new breakfast show. <laughs> yeah, you would, with the actual name in it. Have you seen? <laughs> that's harsh. Yeah. Yeah. I had a dream about that bloke the other night. I love you too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, you know, at, at sporting games where people can send in photos of themselves at the game and your hashtag, whatever, oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. port one or whatever, and yeah. you get your photo of yourself up on the big screen. In the UK, there's a bit of a trend going where people are put, sending in photos of Hasbulla saying, um, <laughs> my son's first game, he's so excited, <laughs> and it's getting up on the big screen. <laughs> hey, hey, Rosie, um, <laughs> let's ask, how are you going? This time last week, we spoke to you about, um, obviously, something changing with your job, and now you're at um, Exa, the um, employment company of your um, the husband, or whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, Extra. What's it called? Exa. Any. 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 Um, Any. So, how's it going? We were just saying before, uh, you know, your sleep-ins and things like this, so you're not yeah, you doing Brecky Radio fresh. anymore. Do I look fresh? Yeah. I feel still- 92 I feel on. more time. I think I work yeah, better on minimum sleep. See? Oh, really? Yeah, I think adrenaline's a good Did thing. Did you turn your phone off on the, the first night that you didn't have to wake up at four the next morning? Yes. And I how, how no satisfying alarm. is that? It's so good. Now I, I just wake up. I just wake up. Yeah. I can go to work whenever I want. But you had a nice farewell and things like that? Yeah, I left early, went shopping. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, yeah. And I got lots of wine and licorice. Do, so. they, do they have a function for you at the, the Wellington? I chose to have no function. Okay. So I said oh, no thank no you. No facilities. I'm going to no. go. Jeez. Well, that's really nice. So um, we'll, we'll keep getting updates from you because getting back to normality is a is a massive thing. Obviously, like especially waking up so early in the morning and having some sort of normality that. Yeah, that I know. Else well, are. yeah, now it's the the joy of trying to work out how to um, 
do what's the word I'm looking Life. for? Freelance oh, yeah. contracts. Yeah. So I had to work out but the great my thing new is, normal, which is not normal. If you need to um, uh, offer a quote, I've just got a message that I sent to L that I can send you if you want to communicate that way with people. Okay. And you can earn ten grand. Yeah. Yeah. So well, it, it's great to uh, to see you happy and uh, nice. all up and about. Are you going to listen to the radio or take a break from the radio listening for a while? Uh, I have been listening on my way to work. God, I've been driving to work in peak hour and going home in peak hour. That sucks. Let's change that. Oh, welcome. Ugh. Ugh. Welcome to Ugh. the rest of us. So is it hard listening to the radio and not being emotionally invested? Or are you listening I to other stations? No are you like Jared and write no. notes down? Correct. There's no emotions. Mm. Okay. My emotions are dead. I just listen. That's as been before listener. radio, though, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I really, I really are. Uh, really, um, yep, drugs keep them at bay. But can, can I just say, <laughs> oh, God. Um, now Fair that enough. you're out of that bubble, you'll have a better life. Okay. Yeah. I, I trust all All right, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm just telling you how to feel. <laughs> yeah, so feel great, all right? Okay. See, oh, gosh. Guys. Okay, so um, uh, let's do the quiz, hey? Have you got a quiz? I do have a quiz, and I have some sounds, and hopefully they work, and they make sense, and I wrote this. It's harsh. <laughs> that's, what, that's my job over here, but that's all right. Um, I'll just be in my little bubble over here. I'll feel great. Yeah, bubble on. It's time for the... Did you hear about that? Quiz? Best teammates, did you hear about that quiz? All right? Yeah. It's questions from the week and probably, well, some of these are a bit older than a week old. Well, usually the wrong answers are funnier than the right That's answers. Right, yeah. So, so let's start. KFC. Uh, <laughs> your buzzers are, what KFC? What, okay, um, we could stick with that. Your buzzers are your favourite single item from KFC. Oh, wow. That's a great idea. Yeah. That really Chips, no salt. Crusher. Chips, no salt. Salt. Yeah. What is wrong with you? How do you yeah. order that? Are you a murderer? Well, what you do is you say, can I please have chips with no salt? It's, like, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> you don't even have to ask for it that's, sometimes. I just don't put them on. The salt that, is that's the best actually part. a salt. No, the thing is, guys, <laughs> you ask for chips with Chris. no salt, it means you're going to get them hot. They cook them fresh. But then there's no salt. They just put some salt on afterwards. I mean, I'm trying to be healthy. Okay, here. chips, no salt is Jared. Thank you. What's going on? No, no, what are you guys no, doing? No, go on. It's salt. my button undone again. What are you guys <laughs> looking at? Salt, Chris. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Saleh. Yeah. My husband's oh, last name is Saleh. Oh, yes, yep. that's right. I don't yep. speak Italian anymore. <laughs> you did enough of that last week. <laughs> All right, What's so your buzzer? What's your um, single-use item? What is it? The fact that I'm single and I use it? Or <laughs> well, your favourite. Because like, that's a weird single-use <laughs> yeah. item. I mean, is favorite it lube? Favourite item on the KFC menu. Twister. <laughs> okay, Twister. <laughs> and you, you, Matteo? Fleshlight. Daytime crusher. <laughs> Daytime crusher. Well, yeah. that's going to be hard when you're trying to get that out. Yeah. Okay. Single use item. <laughs> Fleshlight 3000? Yeah. The Big Fist of 9000. <laughs> Question one. Which celebrity loves a mega pint of red wine in his spare time? Chips, no salt. Greg Burns. Um, <laughs> no, no, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Twister. Oh, okay, Jared came in first with the non-defamatory answer. So. Oh, was it? Was it? No, he no, I mean, loved a drink. He loved a drink. Yeah, awesome. yeah. We've got a lot of um, former uh, people that we work the, with that love a love it. A, a pint of red wine. A mega pint. Mega pint. What's a, what is a mega pint? Well, is, that, is that like a yard glass? It's, well, it's 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 a bit of a stupid term that's been turned into a meme because of a certain celebrity. And oh. their drinking habits, which has been very public because they've been in court with their ex-wife. Oh, I know. Oh, Bob is. Francis, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Valet. <Yeah. laughs> Should anyone Sorry. attempt to answer this? No, no, this? Leon Biner. <laughs> Valet. No, no, he's still no, like... In that is anyone answering this question? <laughs> oh, gay time crusher. Okay, gay time crusher. Get is that in the then. answer? Johnny Depp. <laughs> it is Johnny Depp. Please Yay. play. The, court, the courtroom has been an entertainment uh, dream. Just push play on the audio. Sometimes drink whiskey in the mornings too, right? Isn't happy hour anytime? <laughs> I once gave uh, Marilyn Manson a pill uh, so that he would... Stop talking so much. <laughs> you poured yourself a, um, a mega pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint? Yeah. Is he British, Johnny Depp, or is he American? It's, a, it's, a, it's an he, actor's accent. He's just, hey. he's just cool. So what, is he US? No, he's yeah. American, yeah. 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 Have you ever really got in an really argument slowly. with your partner and thought, you know how I'm going to actually show you my mean business by doing a dump on the bed? That's, no, that's, no, that's unheard of. No, that's yeah, weird. yeah, it is. 
unheard. <laughs> I offered to do that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and, that was, and I was like, fine. Don't worry, don't worry about <laughs> yeah. it. Question two. Yeah. This is Zeus the dog, You didn't everybody. hear that, did you? No, what did you say? I said, that's unheard of. Because her name's Amber Heard, guys. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, ding. Dear. And right. give him one of those ding sound effects too. Thanks. Ding. <laughs> Dinger. Uh, the picture I'm showing you guys is Zeus the dog. Zeus it's the this. dog. He's a great Dane. He yep. has a little Guinness World Record there. Why did he get it? Um, chips, no salt. Yes, ugliest Jared. dog. He's not ugly. He's beautiful. Oh. Look at his we, we have different face. definitions of beautiful. Uh, um, gay Twister. song. <laughs> did you say Fista? No, no, no I just said Twister. But... Okay, Twister. Andy. Fista. <laughs> Andy, why, um, why is Zeus the dog made Guinness World Records? The biggest fifth leg. <laughs> oh, my God, no. Gay time crusher. Yes, gay time crusher. <laughs> the tallest dog. He is the tallest dog in the world. That's well done, Matt. You're yeah, fine. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, is yeah, that two for two? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, which footballer's shirt sold for a record $12.5 million at an auction recently? Oh, Twister. Okay, go Andy, on, go on. This is going to be so, great to see where he goes so with this. I'm excited for this. Fletcher. <laughs> Is it football or right? Jared Crowder? Is this yeah. the international footballer or is this a, an Australian AFL series footballer? I'm going to let you interpret that. I'm, t- I'm tipping no AFL games. He's going for 12.5 mil. Yeah. 12. Um, 12. Um, that Renato guy? Renato. Renato. <laughs> <laughs> Christian I Renato. That guy is my electrician. <laughs> Cri- Christian Renato speaking. Renato. Uh, <laughs> Christian Renato is not the answer. I know the answer to this one. It's, um, uh, sorry, uh, Chips No Salt. Yeah. It's the Diego Maradona Hand of God Argentina shirt. It is indeed uh, well from done. the 1986 World Cup. What were your thoughts on the Hand of God moment? Uh, I just thought about the Goldfinger situation. <laughs> It has come full circle. It <laughs> right. was really weird thing going on inside. Yes, a hand of God, but oh, yeah, 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 yeah. very spiritual. Where'd your uh, fist go? Anyway. Basketball of Felix Van Hoff has been spotted on the oh, set yeah. of which yeah. TV show this week? Uh, uh, yeah. Gay yeah. Time Chips, Crusher. No salt. Uh, I think that was Matt, Gay Time Crusher over there. <laughs> Keeping up with the Kardashians. That is not. Oh. No. No, <laughs> Chips, No Salt. He's from Melbourne. Twister. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, um, <laughs> yeah. it's Baywatch Australia because his dad, David Van Hasselhoff, <laughs> was also in it. Not that. Yeah, okay. I've never Twister. heard of this bloke, but go on. Friends. It's not. Uh, <laughs> it's a uh, uh, reality Chips, TV no show. Oh. Felix the Cat. Uh, not fit- Twister. The voice. No, not the voice. I mean, he's going to be the star of this show. He's oh. a basketballer here in Australia. Oh, that's a, a loose that's, term. Um, the star bit or the basketballer bit? Both. Twister. <laughs> yes. All Saints. <laughs> wow, that would be exciting. Uh, yeah. uh, Chips, no salt. Yep. He's on The Bachelor. He is going to be. Uh, so he played a few games for Melbourne United. He does stuff on Sports Bet. You may have seen oh, him right. on like KO right. and stuff like that. And um, Felix Van Hoff. Yeah, the all right. Bachelor. All cool. right. Good on you. Um, you should have a little audio. It's called Question 5. Yes. Uh, please name this artist who picked up a shitload of awards at the billboards yesterday. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, uh, I'm a cow. Twister. Salt. I'm not a cow. Twister was me. That came was me. in first. Oh, fuck off. He did. <laughs> Sorry. He totally did. <laughs> That's Cardi a, B? It's not Cardi B. So yeah. Oh. Chips, no salt. Post Malone. <laughs> <laughs> Twister Daytime time crusher Okay Maddie. Uh, right, Who right, sung that song? Robbie Williams Oh my god <laughs> uh, Chips uh, no song. Uh, Twister yes. George Michael Can you play <laughs> it again? Vale uh, Nicki Minaj It's not Nicki Minaj oh. Gay time oh, Gay time <laughs> crusher <laughs> I nearly said gay time twister Gay time crusher Yep Doja Cat It is Doja Cat Very good today Bitch I'm a cow Bitch I'm a Wait cow Wait for it She's saying Fucking hell, music's going down. Is this a song? If, if, if that I wrote a song, I'm a cow. cow, and then follows it up with a moo. If I wrote that song and sung that, I'd be done. Yeah. Like, okay. I'd be cancelled for now, sure. Now, I don't think it's that album that she won a ton of awards for, I but she not. did accept four yesterday. Yeah. What did she do before accepting the award for top R&B album? Uh, oh, uh, Gay Time no Crusher. Soul. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> it was me. It was Jared. Went to the facility? She did not go to the facilities. Oh. She did something then. Uh, she went from her seat to the stage. That's a good answer. I reckon that's technically Something yeah. happened between them. Something happened between them two. Oh, oh uh, yeah. Trista. She yes. was nominated. Yes. I mean, oh, that, that happened that's that's a bunch of shows. Probably a point there. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, um, she arrived. <laughs> Andy. Chips, no salt. Yes, oh. She got ready, hair and makeup. <laughs> Gay Time Crusher. Between the award okay. being accepted. <laughs> Gay Time Crusher. Oh, she yes. wrote the song. She, I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, Trista. Yes. She passed wind. Maybe. Oh, maybe. I mean, yes. I oh, <laughs> Chips, no salt. She started thinking about a career in music. <laughs> okay. Daytime Crusher. Did anyone actually <laughs> she see was the born? footage? 
No. She yeah. wasn't bo- between ex- between being uh, awarded Twister. and accepting the award. I don't, she did I don't something. think anyone watches it unless they work in radio. No, no, I didn't watch it. I saw it on Twitter. Well, it's everywhere. Between yeah. accepting the award, so they said the winner of best R&B album is Doja Cat. She goes, oh, it's me, oh. and then she oh, did something, Twister. and then she got up, and then Twerk. she worked. Yeah. Uh, she kissed the guy next to her. No, no mm. chips, no salt. She said, oh. Uh, no. Does anyone actually know the answer? She danced or no? No, she sculled a drink and took a, uh, a puff of her vape and then she oh. threw the vape and then she went onto the stage. I like throwing oh. your microphone down on the yeah, ground. Yeah, she was like... <laughs> yeah, boy, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good question. It was question. a classic Great move. question. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was yeah, one yeah. of better ones. Good question. Oh, far out, guys. I mean, just read a paper once in a while. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus Christ. You saw that was Twitter, definitely bro. not in the paper. <laughs> um, yeah, while researching... advertiser for that. While researching... Where's Antimo? Have you got the next audio quiz? Um, wait, 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 wait. While researching this quiz, I got a pop-up ad in Italian. Oh, me too. Oh, okay. <laughs> which is strange, but I have been talking to a bunch of Italians this weekend, so Google is always... Oh, now that, you yeah. can't... That's just generalising. Yeah, that's you had a no, about that no, last week. No, you can't no, say, say that, that, mate. No, okay, shut up. This is oh, my whoa, quiz. Whoa, 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 so, when <laughs> movies when movies get released... Just because you had one birthday. Overseas. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah. Stop sending a spaghetti. Can yeah, I keep yeah. pictures, mate? Yeah, well, we they get you the dubbed by other people. So, this is question? a... Yeah, can you start that again? Well, just yeah. start freaking listening. Uh, no, okay, Rosie's right, here. Yeah. Question yeah. one. <laughs> okay. Go back so, and start. when you're on YouTube, yeah. an ad popped up yeah. for a movie. Yeah, okay? yeah. programmatic. And, and when these movies get released... Yeah. In Italy, where this, for some reason, I was targeted, obvious reasons. What, what um, are those why reasons? Is that? Because I was, oh, anyway. Um, this what? this movie trailer popped up, okay? Yep. Mm. yep. Now, have a listen and tell me, whose dub over artist is this for? So, oh, this right. is okay. a movie for a very famous actor. That's a good question. I like this one. And yeah. this is the dub over of that actor. Okay. Oh, dub over, great place. Yeah, yeah so who that. is this? Yeah. Okay. So, Oh, it sounds like being in an Uber. Now, play from the beginning again, because I think the, you've missed the beginning. If you speak Italian... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is it, it's Tom Cruise. No, no salt. I mean... Is that Kenny, the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say, is that Kenny from South no, Park? No, oh. no so... so oh, yeah. um, so all Gator and Crusher. <laughs> yep. Who? Jason Statham. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, chips, no salt. Yeah. Is that the... Is it Doja Cat? That is not Doja Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Doja Cat. Oh, um, uh, just, just think movies. <laughs> movies. Twister. Think movies. Oh, Twister. The cow yes. one. Is it Tom Cruise? It is Tom Cruise. Oh, oh, I the artist Why in thinking, Italy. What's movies? What's that about? Doja well, Cat. Well, I kind oh, of brought Doja two Cat. questions together. Yeah. Um, so Mo- if you play the second part B. Okay, I'm a cow. Mo- pa- play part B. Good morning, aviators. This is your captain uh, speaking. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It goes hand in hand with Walshie's. Yeah. Bitch, I'm a cow. <laughs> yeah, move, move, move. Okay. okay. Top Gun related questions here to finish things off. Hold My Hand is a new theme song for the brand new movie. Who has uh, released it? I oh, know this oh, one. Um, Jess Glynn. It's not Jess Glynn. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the song Hold My Hand. Oh, sorry. Uh, gay, uh, gay Time Crusher. Yes. <laughs> um. Um, Just name an Chips, no salt. Yeah, Kesha. It's not Kesha. Stan Walker. Mm. It's not Stan Walker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twister. But, um, he gets a dollar for every time his name's mentioned. So good yeah. work. Go, Twister. Uh, That's you, Angie. Uh, you said you. Uh, no, you um, uh, she's a pretty big deal. She's oh, won a lot of awards. Oh, oh, um, um, oh uh, Gay Time Crusher. Uh, yeah, yep. Mariah Carey. It's not Mariah. Vale. Uh, <laughs> Chips, no salt. <laughs> Is it um, Doja Cat? It's not Doja Cat. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, oh and, and, yeah, Trista. Yeah. Yep. Anthony Cleo. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Yeah. With his lip. Um, oh, a gay time crusher. <laughs> yep. Lady Gaga. It is Lady Gaga. Oh, wow. And the yeah. last question. Are you in a hurry to get out of here? You're taking like, yep. not very long. Like, last question. <laughs> uh, do it on the table. The, yeah. <laughs> Under the sheet. Sorry? <laughs> yeah, it's what? What song from the this okay? What song from the original soundtrack by Band Berlin won a stack of awards? Twister, and you have to sing the answer. Oh, Band no, Berlin. Yeah, Band Berlin released the original like the theme ba- song. Is it a band called Berlin? Yeah, and they Paris. They released so they released the original theme song for Top Gun or one of and they. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, um, you have to sing the answer. Uh, Not the actual theme song. Oh, it's the theme song that won like. The Chips no soul. Not that, it's not that song. Oh. It's a different one. I'm a cow. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Wait. Ask the question again. One of the 
<laughs> oh God! It's take my breath away. Someone sing take, take my, my breath, breath away. away. <laughs> well, Racy, that was um, definitely that not was one of your best. <laughs> as hell. No, no, well, you, you wrote the quiz, and you answered the question. Yeah, no, I don't want to come in here and fight. Like, I'm not no. fighting. This is my inside voice. Save oh, sign. Oh my god. Oh jeez. All right, um, Andy, Matt, Rosie, it's been a pleasure joining you on Best Teammates. Follow us on the socials. We are back next week. Is everyone feeling okay, Rosie? Are you all right now? <laughs> yes. Are you okay? How long does this outro go? Speak right up to the post. What do you mean by that? Thanks for listening. <laughs> Follow us on socials and make sure you subscribe. Podcast. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details.